Hey guys, it's Gordon Fast and Fun Guy. We're out here in Napa, one of my local parks. I was walking around and I didn't expect to find a lot, but I just saw this huge bolete here. I think this is a liver bolete, Swillus amygdalis. I can't even pronounce that word, but we've been having a banner year for these huge boletes. And you can tell these are liver boletes because they've got kind of red pores, red stipe. Top isn't really cracking. There are some other oak associated boletes that have red cracking tops, but this liver bolete has this sort of reddish brown with no cracking. It has a very fast blue staining reaction. So I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like. I'm gonna cut into this mushroom and it will fairly quickly turn blue um, and a very, very dark shade of blue as well which is really just kind of unreal looking. Nice hearty slaps. In theory, I think you can eat this mushroom. Generally, you avoid eating anything that's got red pores and stains heavily and quickly blue like this. There's plenty of mushrooms that you can eat that stain blue fairly quickly. The red pores is definitely a giveaway with bolites. You want to avoid them. I've heard of people in my local club eating and enjoying this mushroom. Um, some people blanch it, some people don't. I'm just happy to find, you know, a really big, heavy, fleshy mushroom and show you guys this cool blue staining reaction because it is it is super wild and it'll just kind of keep turning bluer and bluer the more you you damage it and what happens with these bolites is this blue staining is not due to the presence of psilocybin it's actually enzymatic oxidation of an organic acid and usually it's variegatic acid but there's some different ones in different species so i'm not totally sure what's in this one but this is basically a function of an enzyme uh, getting exposed to oxygen activating and and probably causing a ph change which is causing this color shift in, in the pigment. This color shift is pH dependent. So if you get home, you can actually reverse this bluing reaction with acid. So if you put some lemon juice in a bluing bolete like this, it will turn back to yellow, which is pretty cool. So yeah, this is the liver bolete. Found it here in Napa. Cheers guys.